Greetings gamers, Kevin here and Eric with another game night for you and today we're playing Test Drive Eve of Destruction and that is for original Xbox but today we're playing on the Xbox 360 because they actually ramp up the graphics and bump up the resolution and it, it looks really nice on that. I actually prefer it on the 360 so this is a game me and Eric battle a lot with to see who's going to win today. It's going to be quite interesting. We're going to give you a good idea for it especially for the multiplayer aspect and see what you guys think. What do you think about it Eric? <laughs> I've had many good nights uh, playing this game. It's a lot of variety, a lot of different games, a lot of different contests to play against each other, and you, uh, you typically don't see those types of games nowadays, where you can just get together with a buddy and you know play against each other with a bunch of different computer uh, personnel as well. Yeah, so. Actually, we went on a mission for this game to find a good Destruction Derby game, because other than the PlayStation one, we couldn't find another good one, and the PlayStation one is kind of difficult to do multiplayer, because you need a serial link and two PlayStation. Yeah, so. and for some reason these types of games are not popular because they're not online and yeah, you which know, no I don't one actually understand. sees anyone anymore, they just play them online, but we still prefer the old school method of getting together and playing, uh, oh, definitely. playing a few no, games this together. Is, so This is definitely the hands down way to go. Um, the cool feature is you can really pick a lot of different cars on this. and. Um, the other fun feature is you can pick a generic name that the, la the announcer will actually call you. So I like to go with my typical favorites here. Yeah. Mr. Fist, I don't know if that's... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I don't know who thought of all these names. Yeah, so right, I'll be the Sarge. Cool. I'll go for a good old generic killer. But Now this one's really cool because you can actually pick... Um, you get a whole bunch of events, and you basically just compete with the events. What we basically do is we agree on having a Destruction Derby be the last event, and then we pick one apiece, and it kind of evens out pretty nicely that way. So we'll take a look at how it pans out here. Um, it's out of five here, so we get two apiece to pick, and I guess I'll start us off. All right. That's a good classic to go with here. You know, I'm kind of a big fan of detention, personally. I think that'll be a good start here. Yeah, and a, a quick rundown. This is where, uh, basically, you're running around, and uh, the, other per the other player is driving a school bus, and his only mission is to try and destroy all the cars out there, whereas yours is just kind of trying to stay alive, while at the same time attempting to finish the race in this figure eight type of fashion. Yeah, it gets pretty tricky depending on how you plan it all. This school bus, pretty much if you get a good crack on a guy, they're pretty much gone. Yeah. There's, not a, there's not a lot of leeway if you hit that bus, man. But the cool thing about this one is everybody gets a chance at it. Since I started, I get to be a school bus, and then I'll be an Eric shoes after this one. And these cars handle pretty much how you would imagine they would as a muscle car on the dirt track. Yeah. They're incredibly squirrely. And you gotta be careful gunning it or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna get bitey. And he uh, he got me good. Yeah. And you see my damage meter is uh, pretty low. So pretty much one more crack from the bus and my race is over. Boom, and, shot block, huh? <laughs> and that was <laughs> but I still got three cars left up on the meter here but usually my advantage is you want to take out the actual player because the computer players aren't as smart so if I let Eric race too far I, I really risk losing this yeah and you uh, you did a pretty uh, good job that time let's see there. surprisingly these computer cars are being pretty sneaky and the other good advantage is the bus has no rules. You can just go through the track however you want to attack. You really got to get well ahead of them because you're pretty slow. It's it's literally just like driving a tank. I, I mean, I've been to a lot of destruction derbies in real life, but I've never seen anything like this. I'd love to go see one live. There we go. Nice. Well done. Awesome. So, but I only got 79 points because. I think you can get 99 if you killed everybody faster. Okay. So now you get a chance at so it. We'll and I get how I do on this. I gotta try to avoid them as long as possible here. Right. I gotta say the controls are definitely accurate for how you'd feel about driving this in real life. Man, you just grazed me and there's like a fourth of my bar. I didn't even think you hit me. 
Yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't really know who I hit, but I definitely put a damage on. Oh. I gotta do five full laps. I don't make those suckers. And you're in for some trouble. Yeah. So much slidey. Uh, ooh, man. Yeah, just clipped you. Man, that would be a perfect 360 bonus in Destruction Derby. <laughs> But surprisingly, you clocked me that bad, and I'm still good on damage. I don't know how I Yeah, I don't know. It, the time that you got me, it was... I think it's, like, consistently hitting her. Ooh, like, even that. Man. It really knocks you off course, and I forget where I am on the laps here. I gotta be careful. So oh boy! My estimation, you're the only <laughs> one left. Oh, goody goody gum drops for me. So here we go. Yeah. Gotta get these laps. See your score up on the top left is 91, so it's like kind of a timer. How fast you took everybody out? Yeah. Not a fan of playing chicken with a bus. Uh, <laughs> a few near misses. Time and clock and the is more, going. yeah, the more, uh... Ah, come on. Yeah. And you're still alive. <laughs> it's hard to kill me, man. Ugh, it's hard to stay on the road after all these hits. I will say, surprisingly, in this game, you actually keep the control levels. Like, um, you know, like in the PlayStation Destruction Derby, you get hit. Oof. There it is. Ah. Yeah, it doesn't Let's affect see your controls. See, now I got 88. Okay, well, I ain't bad because I got 89, so it's still a close race. That's true. Well, I thought you got 79. Race. No, I, I took people out faster than you. Come on now. Oh, look at that. Oh, I thought I had 89. Man. All right, well, he's leading. I thought you did, too. I yeah. thought you... Yeah. Maybe I took a lot of cars out right. initially. And that's the one that I picked, so now you get to pick one. Okay, let's see what we got here. This is another fanfare, the, uh, the gauntlet. This one, uh, oh wow! Basically, you're driving a hearse, and the goal is for everyone else <laughs> is to try and destroy you. Oh, lucky me! And I get to start out as the hearse here. So in this one, pretty much you're just running for your life while everyone else is slamming into you. Yeah, I recommend changing your view on this one to see who's on your tail, like I just did, because you're gonna want that little boost there. But I will say, at least this hearse does take a lot of damage. It ain't easy to kill. It does take a pound. Yeah, it does take a good pound. It's the good old dead sled this time. Yeah. And then you'll have uh, the computer generated people going backwards. Oh yeah. You know, going the wrong way to try and get you head on. Yeah, this is more fun because it's not just you by yourself trying to take me out, it's all the right. players in the game. Right. You're just trying to team up with them. It's, it's a lot of timing in this one, it's tricky. Yeah. And you gotta keep getting stuck here. Back on the racket. We got this. Nice. Well, I'm not sure, but in this one, you might get an extra bonus if you, if you as the horse, destroy some of the cars. Yeah, I know. I think you're right. It's it's pretty much by laps, though. I think your points, though. See, yeah, I've completed three cool. laps now, and to actually completely win, I got to do all five. And you still have a fair amount of health left, yep. so... Yeah. I mean, the best strategy I try to use is you just want to... If somebody's going to come at you, just try to clip them so you can kind of knock them, spin them out of control. But yeah. Then you get these blingy people just all over you. I mean, like me, just, yeah. just pinning you in there. There you go. But and then you disappear. Well, after five seconds off the track, they'll take you back on. Yeah. So that's a nice advantage. See, in that situation, I actually just wanted to let go of the controller and let it reset me. It's easier than trying to fight my way out of it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. My damage is rough here. Come on, squeezing our lap in there. Ah. Wow. Okay, I don't know how this thing's surviving. So now I'm just... Oh! Like, there we go. Wow. I was kind of pinning you in there, hoping one of the computer guys would... Uh, I got 60 points on that one. Eh. As long as you get points. I'm surprised you got that few because you almost completed all the laps. Yeah, there must be a different calculator in there. Like, maybe I didn't kill enough other cars or something. So. Yeah, I don't know. It's, they don't really explain how no, they calculate they the just, points. They so. just throw you out there and say, hey, good luck. Yeah. 
now I gotta decide how I'm gonna attack. Hey, you know, a lot of these cards, you see them, they just sit on the track and they wait for you. Pretty much. Which is a good and bad strategy because that gives you time to make another lap. So. Yeah. A lot of risk and reward in this one. Um, I'm not seeing the hearse yet. Yeah. Oh, wow. Thing's really cooking. I like how they keep it authentic and put a coffin in there. Right, <laughs> yeah, I mean, because I've seen that. it wouldn't be a hearse. It would yeah, just I guess be you're a, right. You know, a 1960s ambulance. <laughs> then it'd be Ecto 1. Yeah, then it would be Ecto 1. <laughs> Between. I'm flying along pretty good right now. Yeah, you are, because all these obstacles that are in the way, you can't easily just cut through the middle to try to get at the hearse. Ah! Man, just missed it. <laughs> yeah, the timing is tough in this game. It is, and it's just, it's a game of near misses. A whole lot of that. All these obstacles in the way are not helping. Not helping at all. Your health is, like, perfect. It's not bad. The computer ain't helping me out as much. Yeah. <laughs> Whole lot I just, of miss. I saw you fly right by <laughs> me there. Whole lot of miss. So, coming up here, this should be my last lap coming out. Yeah, this is not the best strategy. I'm seeing a few cars starting to smoke pretty good. Hopefully I can... Uh, I wonder how many points. Take them out before the end of the race. And it looks like you're going to make a complete runaround, so. Yeah. That's just too hard to gain speed on these dirt roads. It's not like you can just. It know, is, yeah. This this hearse is cooking. Yeah. Oof. Can't stop it. Awesome. How many points? They give you a 100. 100. There we wow. go. So I get one lap less, and I don't get the 100. Well, see, I saw at least one car that I destroyed. I don't know if that helped or not, but... Man, I'm falling behind so, here, man. And you can see, at the end of each event, it totals up your your total points, and... Uh, yeah, it's kind of like a tournament where you're trying to get all these little events, and then the overall at the end, so it's not yeah. like you win just because of that. Alright, I better start picking something a little bit better. <laughs> ah, this is one that I usually have better luck with. Who doesn't love uh, a good round of Red Rover? This one I am not good at, because... <laughs> Yeah, it's literally like Red Rover, guys. But you gotta stay in this box. Oh, and then you gotta get right out of it once everybody else crosses the line. Get out of the way, bozos! Whew. Wow. And each time that you go back and forth, I think you cancel a car out that gets their last, right? Right, yeah. So it kind of just does a knockout system. Man, floor it! And the key is to not s to stay in the box just subtly, and then be ready to go as soon as the horn sounds on the last guy. And of course the last guy just plows into me. <laughs> Make it happen. Shake and move. Yeah, a lot of Son obstacles in the way of that one. Ah. This might be yeah. the end of it. Yeah, I don't know. Still got somebody else. Yeah. Who's the other on that, guy? On that last one, he plowed into me and uh, threw me off. Nice. So. Like me some Red Rover. Yeah, yeah. You're... <laughs> Well, well you still got third, though, yeah, so third you, get, bad. you get a good chunk of points. See, it's not like all or nothing, at least in this game. They'll prorate the points. I need something to catch up with here. Oof, still ain't fully caught up, though. But see, I, I only got 65. Which still ain't bad. True, but you would think third place would be a little higher. Than that. Hey, I think four laps in the other one should add more than yeah, 60 yeah, yeah. points, too. So, um, all right. Let's see what else we got to pick from here. Let's see. Well, the derby we always do for the last Yeah, event. that's like the finale. We save the derby for last. So, so we try to do all these other crazy different ones. Mm, I don't remember that one. Stop and go. I don't remember that one either. This one might be interesting. This is going to be a race, but it is... 
I see. Half the pack goes in one direction, half the other, so... Anything with suicide in the title has got to be good for Destruction Derby. Right? Yeah, we'll see how this one goes. A lot of clipping. How come Ooh. I haven't seen this in real life? When do they do suicide races? I know, yeah. <laughs> this one you ain't gonna see at your local <laughs> uh, county fair. No, I don't think this one's gonna pass. Great for a game idea, though. Oh. Yeah. Four laps in this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A whole lot of biting this. Yeah, I got clipped, but I'm still still moving. That's pretty interesting how they can keep track of who's still first and second in all this. Yeah, I know. It's typically a good idea either to hug the wall or hug the inside. Yeah, you want to just be able to completely cut the wheel if you have to. This might be nice. bad. Ooh. I'm not doing too hot. My damage is high. My damage is still looking pretty good. Well, now we're starting the last lap. That white flag time. But it's not just racing it. If you can kill off the other cars, then they're not yeah, competing that, anymore. Exactly. So that's an advantage, too. So. But then you always got to worry about your own damage meter. Just yeah. Because you never know. You put all these tires on the road. Come on, now. We're trying to race. And that's that. Nice. And we're still in second, though. And I can't fall too uh -oh. far behind with all these uh -oh. yo-yos in the way. Nice. I was taking out a bit. That is the problem. Wow. This car is oh. just out of control. And you get robbed. And you get robbed. Yeah. Yeah. Third. There's another third to match you now. You got third in Red Rover, and they gave you what, like 65 points? 65 points, yeah. Am I going to get that at least? I mean, we'll see how consistent the points are in it. I didn't even see what it said, how much I got. I think it said, yeah, oh, okay. there you go, 65. Okay, so third's so. basically 65 no matter what you're doing, then. But at least you got the slowest lap award. <laughs> Somebody had to yeah. give me that kind of award. All, All right. right, well, this is the finale. So. Finale, we go with Demolition Derby. There you go. This good old-fashioned last car standing. Make or break time, guys. Now, I remember in uh, Destruction Derby is like the certain parts of your car you had to protect, but in this game right. it's just it's, it's just your meter. It doesn't matter where you hit. Yeah, right? it's pretty much just a free for all. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Really matter. Oh, wow. It's kind of interesting how they calculate it. Like um, whoever's got the most momentum that hits gets the hit point. That thing. Pretty much, yeah, because. When you're hitting, you're getting damaged just as well as... Yeah, but not total, um, too much damage. See, the others were more specific. They told you what areas were damaged and what you need to focus on. Right, this is just... Hit it. Wow. Yeah, I don't know how, but you were... Re remain relatively unscathed. I'm trying. Are you just driving in a circle and letting everybody else hit you? <laughs> Well, I'm kind of, you know, kind of doing like a bull with the red type of, is that a matador, I yeah, believe? Yeah, matador. Weighty matador. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I just try to clip and try not to do too heavy a damage, because if you, like, drill into somebody, you leave yourself vulnerable to be, you yeah, know, pile true. drive by a whole bunch of other cars, especially. If I can just keep this sucker alive, in good shape. Come on. All right. I didn't lose any doors, at least, so I got that going for me. What's <laughs> his door? Yeah, but blows I can't me. believe how much power you still have. Yeah. Well, me. Well, I got that guy iced. You get extra points for at least killing other cars? That I don't know. Because it doesn't seem like I'm getting any points for killing other cars. It's just like almost positioning, I mean. Yeah, it is. Come on. Make it happen. Make it happen. No. A little bit of chicken never hurt nobody. <laughs> Man, 
man, this is crazy. Eh. Come on, how much damage you got left? I, I can't. You like took much half left. my damage out. There you go. Yeah. I get the plus there plus one go. point. But you're still gonna get a good healthy chunk because you got second though. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna you're gonna find the points here to make up for it. And oh, there you go. Man. Even though I there did that well, I still was that 30 gap. Yeah, I got that big gap, I think, from what, the bus. Yeah, I got you good on the bus. I think it was the bus that made it. I mean that's but that's like a whole round of five events and stuff. Exactly. So I mean it's a great game, very addicting. It'd be fun with multiplayers. I mean, single player is kind of okay. It's more fun with another person, but yeah, I don't know. Let us know what you guys think. Uh, we think it's a definitely a classic that we'll always go to. And if oh, yeah. you know of any other Destruction Derby games that can compete with this, please let us know because we're still looking for them, and this is the best one to date that we can think of. It is, yeah. So, other than that, uh, post your comments and subscribe. Take it easy, guys.